I'm Jim Craig of SoTech and want to go over our new uh, laser cut symbology patches. Uh, for about 15 years we've made uh, our symbology patches and we've had them embroidered. Uh, now uh, on our new laser cut systems we're laser cutting a lot of our stuff. What was the concept behind these, uh, the symbology? Well, originally, uh, actually I was sitting in the back of a military classroom doodling and drawing up uh, a symbol for everybody on the uh, battlefield. And as an MI class and uh, realized that in symbology, they had a, the uh, arrow, a simple arrow was an automatic rifleman. And that's basically the battlefield operating system that's on the field. So they had a symbol for the rifleman, they had a symbol for the grenadier, they had a symbol for the machine gunners, but they didn't have a symbol for a medic. So a medical system on the battlefield. They didn't have one for breachers. So I made an arrow with a door on it. Uh, for EOD, I put an X crossing a, a fuse all in front of the arrow because uh, sensibly all of these operators would be armed. Uh, so I have a whole system of arrow symbology, uh, uh, which we trademark patented, um, that uh, fits with the DOD uh, map symbology. It's just that we're filling out the gaps where it's missing. Now, where does this come into the patch play? Is this just a cool morale patch? Is this to say, hey, I'm cool because I'm a medic? Uh, no, the concept here was we created a set of patches with these arrows so that you could uh, identify what's inside of a bag. Here's a perfect example of a bag that could be a medical bag, could be a rifleman's bag, could be a survival bag. So actually SOCOM allowed us uh, to do uh, 16,000 rifleman patches to go on the uh, Mission Go bag because uh, it's being issued just to, to a standard rifleman. USASOC allowed us to put the arrow, the red arrow patch uh, onto the, the bags we did for their 18 Deltas so that that could identify externally a, a medical bag. Common situation, somebody gets hurt, you send somebody to run to a truck, you say, hey, go get me the aid bag. Guy opens up the truck, there's three bags that look just like, like each other. Well, this is pretty obvious that that's a medical kit on the inside of it. And the one next to it may be a breacher kit and the one next to it may be uh, an extra uh, ammo carrier uh, bag. So it, in a pinch, in, a, in, in that um, oh crap moment, uh, this helps to uh, relieve and identify. So basically what we did is originally like I said, we embroidered these. Now we're laser cutting them. Uh, this uh, thought behind the symbology, we have uh, the gold arrow, that's the rifleman. We also combined it uh, with, we put three bullets because the a, uh, M4 is a three round burst. We put the actual silhouette of the M4. And on this one, we also put the silhouette of the bayonet. Hopefully you all know the spirit of the bayonet. So for the uh, saw, we put five bullets instead of three. We put the uh, silhouette of a saw. Plus we did the gold arrow with the one stripe through it. For the machine gunner, we put seven bullets plus, the, uh, plus that weapon for the M240. For the uh, grenadier, we have the single 40 millimeter round and we have the carbine with the uh, M203 uh, under the barrel. Plus we have the gold. Uh, um, standard military uh, symbology for the Grenadier. For the uh, medic, we have the Red Cross. This one's red, the others are all yellow or gold. Uh, and the red uh, is superimposed over a uh, medic bandage, a stretcher, and the medical caduceus. Uh, we have a whole series of these patches um, and hopefully cover everybody, including you guys, uh, whatever your particular MOS is. And that's the symbology by SOTEC.